cooking with no no. All right, today got another amazing recipe, an authentic Italian family recipe. Pasta e fagioli. We're growing up, I recall it as pasta fagioli. So, anyway, let's get right into this. I'm going to heat up some olive oil. Uh, I put enough olive oil just to coat the bottom of a pan. I've got uh, four small cloves, so probably you'd use two cloves of garlic. I smash them and then I roughly dice them up. The recipe calls for Italian flat leaf parsley. Because I have it growing in abundance in my garden, and we're coming up on the spring, lemony thyme. I'm going to add that. That's in addition to the recipe. I'm also going to add some red pepper flakes. I do have pepper and chino growing outside, and I have a, a ripe one, but it's raining, so I forgot to grab it when I was out there getting the thyme. I do have 10 to 12 organic, homegrown Roma tomatoes. Uh, I mean, the aroma is just outstanding. You don't smell this in a tomato, typically, from the supermarket. I'm not saying you can't get them, but if possible, I just harvested these yesterday, harvested them yesterday, vine ripen. So I made this recipe the other day to test it out. Game changer is absolutely fresh tomatoes, either San Marzano, Roma tomatoes, makes all the difference in the world. And you'll see there's some similarity to the fresh tomato sauce I made for my spaghetti dish in my prior YouTube video. So um, I'll come back in just a minute and I'll start adding my ingredients. All right, I'm gonna start adding my garlic before I get too hot in the oil, I don't wanna burn it. So I love to do this, it flavors your olive oil. A little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Again, not in the recipe. I'm going to add a little bit of thyme. Just a little splatter because it's wet, it's raining outside today. And just a little bit of parsley. And at this point, I'm just looking for my garlic to just get golden and soften it up a little bit. I mean, right here, to me, this is like the base of my tomato sauce, soups. It smells so good. It gets my saliva glands going, and that's hard because I'm a cancer survivor. I had radiation, so they don't work like they should. But when I smell this, man, that's just pure goodness. So as soon as this browns up, I'm going to add in my tomatoes. Again, smells amazing. Okay, garlic's golden brown. Now we're gonna add our tomatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. You can add as little or as much as you like. Don't put any in, that's up to you. But not too much. We'll come back later and just test the seasoning. Okay, so let's talk about the objective here. I want my tomatoes to soften up and break down, and then I'm going to pick out the skins. That's optional. That's what I like to do. Once we get to that point, we're going to add our beans. We're going to crush with a fork approximately one head. So today I don't have any dry beans. I'm going to use a canned cannellini bean. It's organic. It is uh, just under 16 ounces. 
So I'll come back in just a minute. We'll add that. I'm going to add a little bit more herbs now. I'm going to add a little bit more thyme. And a little bit more of the Italian flat leaf parsley. Organically grown in my garden. So now we're starting to get some nice color. I'm going to put a lid on this because I want to help sweat those down just a little bit. So probably in about two to five minutes that'll be ready. I'll come back at that point. I'll start picking out some of those tomato skins. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so right about the five minute mark, my tomatoes were soft enough for me to start removing the skins. And I've spent maybe two minutes trying to pick out as many of the skins as possible. You see right there, they come out really easy. And once you get the majority out, if you don't want them, as this continues to cook, you'll have time to uh, remove the skin. So right now, again, another addition to this recipe, one quarter cup of white wine, it's a Chardonnay. Again, I just love the flavor of that dry white wine as it evaporates with the tomatoes. So as I say, you can keep picking through, finding the skins. At this point, there's not going to be a whole lot left. So I've got my canned beans. I've just They're draining right now. I did not rinse them. So I'm going to go get them and we're going to add them. Okay, so as I said earlier, I'm going to try and get half of the beans, and I'm going to just smash them with my fork. And what we're looking to do here is help build the flavor profile and also a creamy sauce. So we're going to add in some either chicken or vegetable stock in just a moment, as soon as I crush this up. And once that comes up to temperature, we're going to add in a little uh, small pasta. So feel free to use whatever you have. Uh, if you can get organic, I would say go for the organic. You know me, I'm always saying organic's healthier. That's my opinion. So if you choose not to use organic, that's okay. I think the main concept here is that we get you guys cooking and make some really healthy, delicious food. That's what this journey's all about. So, there you go, just a minute. I'm gonna grab just a couple more. And you can see what's happening here. Whoa, that was close. And that'll incorporate into the tomatoes. I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit more now. So I was on a medium and then I went to a medium low. That's looking really good. At this point I'm going to add in my stock. I've got a low sodium fat free organic chicken stock. It, it was open so rather than waste it I tested this recipe the other day and I used that so uh, but vegetable stock would work just as well here. Okay, so once we come up to temperature, I'll add in my pasta. I'm going to put in one third of a cup. And uh, this is approximately three servings or three portions. So enough for three or if this is a dinner, two nice size servings for two adults. Again, we have another skin floating around. I'll keep my eye open for them as this starts to come up to temperature. And then I'm going to add in my pasta. We'll let that cook and we'll be back. So let me get this up to temperature. We'll add in our pasta. I'm going to add a little bit more fresh herbs. Again, I want to keep building that flavor profile. So every time I add something in, I like to add more of that flavor with my fresh organic herbs. So we'll put the lid on in probably two, three minutes. It'll come up to temperature and we'll add in our pasta.
So I'll be right back. So we're at a slow simmer. Man, I can't, I cannot tell you how good this smells. I gotta stand up straight, I'm noticing too. I'm, I don't wanna cut my head off so I'm slouching all the time. Not comfortable. All right, third of a cup dry pasta. I'm using a cavatelli, so it's like a small shell. I like to add that in soup, so I typically have it now, as I said, I'm going to come back and add a little bit more of my fresh herbs. So there's a little more time. So we're at about five minutes. Just want to make sure now that the pasta is sticking to the bottom. A minute ago, I did add in some time. My camera memory card ran out, so I did also add in some more parsley. More than that. Uh, I just wanted to save just a little bit for a garnish in the end. So, looking like another five to seven minutes. It'll be there, it's nice and thick. I did give it a taste test. Right on. So we just need to let that pasta finish cooking. And we'll be back in about five to seven minutes and we'll see where we're at. Pasta Fajul Facial, oh yeah. So, 15 minutes, I've just checked my pasta. It's cooked perfect al dente, so it has a little bit of bite or to the tooth. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, you know my rules, clean kitchen, so a lot of people have issues with cooking, and I think part of it is that uh, it's a chore to clean up, so in that 15 minutes, I've cleaned everything up other than what you see right here. <clears throat> All right, enough of my lectures. I'm gonna go in just a little bit more. It's about a third of a cup. I've promised this to two different people. <clears throat> I'm gonna remove this from the heat. Just slide it back over there. Now, how I like to finish it, and it's up to you, a little olive oil, just a drizzle, just a touch of thyme, not too much, I don't have a lot of soup here, and a little bit more of the parsley, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you know me by now, favorite cheese, Romano. So, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit in there, not too much. There we go. Give it a little mix. <clears throat> so, while I'm letting this cool for just a minute, I've had this already when I first tried this recipe out. The chunks of garlic, the tomato in the background with the white wine, the parsley, the thyme, the salt, the pepper. By the way, I did not add any more salt or pepper. I felt like it was there. Plus the Romano cheese has a little bit of a salty bite to it. You can see it's nice and creamy. So, my friend in Italy said it's got to be creamy. <clears throat> so, real quick, I just want to say thank you. Um, six years or so ago after surviving cancer, my daughter suggested that I get on Instagram. <clears throat> I didn't even know what it was. Well, over the years I've made friends all over the globe. And the generosity of these friends, whether they're cancer survivors or just other folks across the world that have a passion for cooking <clears throat> and a desire to share their recipes, I am grateful to my friend in Italy for sharing this. This is the second recipe Actually, it's been three. I haven't made the other one yet. It's a bolognese sauce. Anyway, I'm going to give this a taste. Another, another spoonful.
I promise you, if you give this recipe a try, it will become your new favorite Italian recipe. It's excellent, outstanding. Pasta fagioli. Thanks for watching Cooking with Nono. Ciao. How good does that look? Nice and creamy. I hope you all will give this a try. Again, I promise, this one does not disappoint. So I had some left over from the other day when I was testing this recipe. It gets even thicker, the pasta absorbs even more of the, the juices, the liquids. So there it is, even better the next day, like most pasta. All right, we'll see you next time. Put them with no-no, baby.